Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Rebel Galaxy. And in today's episode, I think the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade our ship. I've been doing some work between episodes, running uh, side missions, doing a little bit of uh, trading and stuff like that. And as you can see up there in the upper left, I am up to 47,000 credits, which is enough to purchase the next ship. This will give us a little bit more firepower and all sorts of good stuff like that. So that is what we're gonna go with, the Mastodon. And, oh, I can trade in my hammerhead for 43,000. Uh, wait. Is that right? Maybe not. Maybe I, maybe I need to... Okay, hold on. If I go back in here... Yeah, okay. So basically, it's... Okay, I was just I was a little confused there by the way that was set up. But that's fine. So now, if we go to our equipment bay, let's just take a look and see all of our weapons and stuff transfer over. They do. Um, I am going to need a mining laser here very shortly. Needs about 9,000 credits for that. Um, and that is needed for the next mission. So, why don't we... Why don't we visit the bar? Let's talk with the bartender. Take a seat, friend. And see if he knows anything about the local market. Okay, so he says religious tracts are really cheap here. So if we go to the commodities market, religious tracts, yeah, they are way under the normal price, but they're also uh, not really worth a whole lot. It's not really worth our time. Maybe we can invest in some gold ingots. You can see the system average over there and then what they're actually being sold for here. Um, or that's almost double. Hmm. I only have 4,000 credits to work with. Maybe we'll buy some intellectual property and see if maybe we can trade some of that away. That looks like that's probably a good idea. Let's do that. And now we're going to head off and see where we can trade this. So let's open up our map. Oh, that's not our map. There we go. Let's open up our map and head maybe tech boom. Oh, oh, it actually says right here what we... Oh, that's awesome. So here in the economic data... It'll actually tell you what stuff is going for if you visited that station before. Okay. Well, I think uh, this one right here. Was it that one? This one right here can is buying intellectual property for considerably more than I just paid for it. So let's set a waypoint there. And uh, let's try and earn a little bit of money so I can pick up this mining laser. I'm going to head over to that station, guys, and I will meet you there in just a little bit. All right, guys. Also, check out this ship. That's our new baby right there. Looking super awesome, if I do say so myself. Anyway, let's head in and dock with the station. Engines at maximum. And hopefully we'll be able to sell that intellectual property for a pretty nice markup. Eh... Okay, so we're making like 300 credits profit, which is not amazing, but, um, hmm, I suppose that's worth it. That'll give us at least a little bit. I was really hoping that would be more. Um, let's go and visit the bar and maybe we'll find, let's see what he's saying. Nuts and bolts, eh. Alright. That's nothing I'm worried about. Let's check the news board. Hmm. High quality tech gear on Leatherman. What about the mission board? Maybe we can just earn enough just doing some simple missions here. Oh, here we go. 6,000 credits for a patrol at low risk. Yep, I will take that. And then this is delivery for next to nothing as well. Those should do 
that will allow us to go ahead and uh, get enough money for the mining laser that we need. So let me find those. There's the delivery. And that's something else. Where's that other one? There it is, the patrol. Let's head over to that one. I'm gonna head to the patrol, guys. I'll be there in a moment. All right, here we are at the city patrol. Right where we're supposed to be, and I think I'm pretty much just supposed to keep that mining tug around. Let's send out our pulse to find these enemies. Oh, there they are. All right. So let's open up on those guys. We'll test out the ship's new combat capabilities. And let's just open up on them. I won't forget this. Bring him down, come on. There we go. Yeah, he's gone. All right, there's that one. One down, ooh. And he comes with cargo. Which I will grab, even though it's illegal. I'm going to grab it anyway. And now we got to come back to that bomber. Get him, get him, get him. We need to bring him down before he takes out the miner. Otherwise, I think I fail the mission. Hard to say for sure, though. But we, we got him brought down. Oh, there's another one. We'll get him. Shields down. There's the end of him. And mission complete. So that should give us a decent amount of credits. And we got our credits right there. That's awesome. Don't have to even go back and actually turn it in. So that is good. Now, let's see. If we go here, clear waypoint closest station would be right over there okay we're gonna head that way because I believe I'll be able to buy myself a mining laser over there and uh, then we can progress in the story a little bit here do a little bit of mining on all that kind of good stuff so I'm gonna head to this station guys and I'll be right back with you all right and here we are docking at the station uh there's no shipyard here? Really? Welcome to the Merchant's Guild. What can I do for you? Oh, so you can join guilds. Sure, I'm interested in joining. Tell me about the benefits. Vetted contracts, vetted contracts companies, best rates. We also have our own ship outfitting services with unique vessels and equipment. Oh. Modest fee. Advancing in the guild membership also grants you Okay, see, I did not know you could join guilds in this game. Which basically give you access to specialized guild ships, specialized jobs. Oh, that's really cool. Alright, well, I don't want to do that right now because of cost. It, it costs a lot of money to join the guild. 10,000 credits, which isn't that much, but since I need, those, need my money to uh, get my hands on a mining laser uh, outpost um let's see let's just head to let's just head here let's go to the Leatherman station I haven't actually been there yet so I think that'll be a good uh, a good place to go especially since it'll open up some opportunities for us as far as exploration it's close to one of the places we can go to actually get the Omnium that we need. I think that's going to be our best bet. So let me head over that way, guys, and I'll be right back with you. All right, here we are coming up on Leatherman Station, a place we've never visited. It's apparently in an ice field of some sort. Here we go. And let's dock. If they don't have a place where I can buy a mining laser, I will be very upset. So it's technically a weapon. We're going to put it in our gamma turret. And grab ourselves the Mark I Mining Laser. Yes, go ahead and install that right away. And broadsides, I think I'm good. Other components, I could upgrade my cargo hold. Um, and I think I'm going to hold off on all that other stuff, though. I think we're fine. So, 
let's do a little bit of mining. Let's head off to the nearest mining location, which is right there for sure. That's actually pretty close. It's actually really close. Like that's that'll take seconds to get there. Uh, once it, once we can actually hit our warp drive, you got to be clear of the asteroids before you can uh, jump to warp. Any second now, there it is. All right, let's go learn how to mine a little bit. I've never done this before. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that we'll get up here and. Oh, here we go. Mining. Mining is best accomplished with the mining laser for even better yields. Purchase Fault Tracker software to identify weak points on asteroids. Detect resources inside asteroids with pulse. Okay. Okay. So, if we go pulse, we should be able to mine. Okay. Looks like ice is not considered a valuable resource. Um, let's go back to our broadsides here. We did a pulse. Okay. I'm just kind of keeping an eye out. I'm not. I was hoping I'd see some more diamonds and stuff, but uh, or those, the gray diamond icon on the screen. That's. It said that that tells you. Cool. We're not gonna make it this way, are we? It said that that tells you what stuff, uh, what asteroids hold valuable resources, but, um, either we're just, ooh, let, no, 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 we want to go this way. There we go. Oh, and I can go to warp to get there faster. Good, good, good. We should be able to power through the rest of this asteroid field pretty quickly. There we go. And let's pulse again. So I'm looking. It said there was. Oh. It said that right here. It must just be one, like a random asteroid that I need to find that'll have this Omnium stuff. And I pulsed and found like nothing. So let's clear our waypoint. Let's pulse again. Mineable resources. There we go. And of course it's way over there, but that's okay. Were there any mineable resources over this way? Didn't really look like it. That's okay though. We'll head over here and hopefully we'll be able to find something here that we can actually mine that'll be useful. Here we go. So we are... So precision. Is it just a matter of... Okay. So it said this thing had mineable resources. Does it, do I actually have to, oh, pure water, oh, okay, so you find it, and then, once you find it, you can tractor it in. Okay, that makes sense. Let's let our mining laser cool down a bit. Looks like there's not really a whole lot of this Omnium stuff, though. So, that's kind of disappointing. I guess I'm going back to my broadside. Um, that's, that's really disappointing. I was hoping to find something that would allow me to get Omnium. Um, let me check over here one more time. And I'll see what I can find. And if that doesn't work... Okay, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Exiting I'm here. Are there mineable resources anywhere? Mining hmm. Just ice. Not a whole lot of omnium. All right. Well, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and uh, head to the other location, which is, like, way over that way. And I'm going to see if maybe they have something I can use a little bit more. So I'll meet you guys over there. All right, guys, I am back. Hopefully we have a little bit better luck here. Yeah, already finding all sorts of good stuff around here that should be a little bit better for us. Let's go to a full stop here. And it looks like there's some other uh, miners around here kind of doing their thing as well. There we go. I don't think I can aim up. <laughs> That's a little aggravating. But I've got some metallic ore. Let's pulse again. Uh, let's go for this one. That one looks pretty close. I'm hoping we'll find some. Obtanium or whatever it's called. And... There's that one. Omnium. There we go. We got ourselves some Omnium. Which is great. That's what we needed for the mission. Um, I think I'm going to do a little bit more mining. Just so I've got a little bit higher yield when I get back. Uh, some things to trade and all that kind of good stuff. So let me do a little bit of that, guys. And then I'll come back to you. Alright, guys. I found all the Osmium or whatever it's called that I need. And then we got attacked by pirates. So... I'm off currently attempting to deal with this pirate scum. Um, there we go. Stay on him. And let's switch to our broadsides. There we go. This ship has much more powerful broadsides than my previous one did. Let's see if we can catch up. Lay down some fire on this guy. Get him. Almost. He's almost down. There we go. That's him. Alright, where's this other one? Ooh. Got him with my broadside from a distance. That's actually impressive because that was a pretty small craft. Did we get them all? Warning. I think we got them all. Ooh, and I ran into an asteroid. Oops. That's all right. Time to go deliver this stuff. I'll meet you back at the station. All right. We are back at the station. And let's see. For the lab, let's also check the uh, commodities market and just see. Uh, I can't sell that, but that's okay. Metallic ore is uh, nah, pretty cheap, actually. Uh, but I guess I'll sell what I do have. Um, ooh, and actually pure water. Pure water is going for quite a lot. So let's sell that as well. That'll give us a pretty nice chunk of cash. And then we'll visit the lab, talk with the researcher. No, says the device is unusual. Is Called it the Spectre. Yes. It is An AI. Okay. It is only in there. It's because of a lack of lack power. Of power. Hmm. Capable of absorbing. Well, I have removed the carbon. However, the device has not reactivated. It may be nothing. So basically, this device is essentially a glorified paperweight right now. So not a whole lot there. But at least we managed to get a little bit of uh, advancement going. I do kind of want to check the uh, equipment bay one more time. We've got about 20,000 credits to burn. It might be in our best interest to swap out 
one of these turrets for something else. Like, maybe we go... Uh, let's see, we got flak turrets. I think I'm fine with that. We have a pulse turret and a scatter turret. I'm thinking maybe we swap this one out for another pulse turret. Um, keep the mining laser. Yeah, why don't we do that? We'll swap out for another pulse turret. Uh, or and maybe we save up for the, uh, the pulse turret mark two. That's probably a better idea. It's a little, it just does a lot more damage. Um, yeah, yeah, why don't we do that? We'll save up for that and hopefully we'll be able to pick that up, um, maybe next episode or something. But I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. We got some mining done, uh, we got a little bit of story advancement, and we got ourselves a new ship. So guys, if you enjoyed this episode, what in the... Oh, an unidentified message. Okay. Hello. Who or what are you and how are you using my ship's computer? I am nameless, or I have forgotten my name. My reliquary has been hmm. active aboard this vessel, and I have integrated with its simple systems. Integrated? You mean you're controlling my I ship? I interface with life support, navigation, or My intention is not to harm. Well, that's in good. The device in which I reside. So basically, I this is the AI that lives inside that device, the specter. In order to the hmm. As what do you said, want? My reliquary is Confused. Incomplete. Memory is fragmented. I've reached out to you for help. What could I possibly do to help you? Are limited, I could utilize them to detect the fragments of my reliquary. In return, I may be able to offer assistance. What sort of assistance? To improve the function of this vessel. I propose an exchange. Help me recover hmm. my memories, and I will in turn advance the systems. I think that's a great idea. Music. I will help you, and you will make my you ship better. At any time through the hmm. Interesting. All right. Well. I think that's a great place to leave off, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.